Good morning, afternoon. I always get it wrong. It's afternoon. This is Windy Hill Kennel. Welcome back. Uh, if you are viewing this and you have not seen us a lot and you want to keep track of what we have coming up when we do videos, please go to the YouTube channel and click uh, the, at the top. I can't even remember what it says to click. Anyway, you can join our channel. Um, subscribe. There we go. Hit the subscribe button, senior moment. And it will automatically tell you every time we post a new video. And it's going to get really busy with videos here in the next couple weeks, that's for sure. We've got several litters coming. So this is Buffy's Kids. I can't believe for 11 days old how big these have gotten. Uh, they'll be two weeks old on the 10th. And uh, they're doing great. So everybody's still got their eyes closed. So once they get their eyes open, we will do new pictures. And then pictures will be about every other week. Videos will be every week. Um, with as many litters as we have coming, I don't have enough hours in my day to keep doing pictures and keep up with it. So videos are probably going to be the mainstay with us in the next few weeks. So let's get started. Uh, these guys will be wormed on their second week birthday. And uh, other than that, oh, I scared you, didn't I? Sorry. Um, we really won't do anything with them um, except leave them with mom, let mom take care of them. This is what they do all day, except they eat, sleep, and go to the bathroom. That's it. Um, so they're really content. They're getting fat. Their bellies are full. Buffy is a great, great mom. She really is. And these are going to be really nice babies. All right, so this one is a Merle. He says, what are you doing to me? This one is a male. And his microchip number is, come on, 0404. But we're gonna go say 30404. I'm sorry, they've got a whole new group of numbers and usually we just put the last four because there's like 16 numbers. So this time we start it with the three. So it's 30404. So this little guy is just really doing good. Uh, make sure my scale is on and going. We're gonna give you current weight. They're really not doing anything. They haven't changed a whole lot, except they're a lot fatter. They've got nice body consistency. Um, they're just doing really good. They're eat, sleeping, and growing like little kids. It's funny to watch them wake up. They stretch just like human babies in a crib when they wake up, and uh, it's cute to watch them do that. All right, let's see what he weighs. So he is one pound, 6.4. So yeah, they're growing really good. All right, so lay back down. Let me have this little squirt in between them. Ugh. This one is a female. This one is a phantom. And taking a look at her coat, she looks like she's holding her phantom and not gonna change. She's got the brown in the ears. Her ears are still sealed shut. They have not opened yet. Neither have the eyes. She's got the, the brown upper legs. She's got the brown under her tail. Um, all the typical phantom markings. Um, and she's got the cross on her chest. So, and the brown on the side of the face and she'll have brown eyebrows. So unless we see changes in the coat down the road, it looks as of right now that she's gonna change. I gotta get her out, is this the chocolate one? This is the chocolate phantom. I kept thinking she didn't look black. Had to get her out of those bright lights. So she's the chocolate phantom. Sorry about that, didn't mean to scare you to death. All right, her microchip. From back here, she's as black as these two. I couldn't tell if she was a chocolate or not. So 030406 is her microchip number. And let's see what she weighs. So no, her, ba her body's not going to change. She's going to be chocolate. One pound, 1 pound, 1.8. Sometimes the blacks have a tendency to change, but chocolates usually stay the same. I know you're yawning and turning around. This one is a chocolate phantom with beautiful phantom markings, 30405. So all these phantom markings are just really, you can see the bright brown coming out, cross on the chest, got all the typical brown muzzle, brown eyebrows. I love phantom merles. Uh, they're beautiful when they're older. The brown up the legs and brown under the tail. So this puppy is really, really, really gonna be pretty when she is full grown. I thought this was the girl. Really nice Merle markings. I'm not prejudiced, but I really, really love the Merles. I hate to say I have favorites, but 
I'd say I, I really don't have favorites. I like all the colors, one pound 7.4. But at the top of the color chart for me would be the merles. The merles are my favorite. All right, so this is the next merle. This one's the boy. This is the big guy in the bunch. His nose is gonna turn black, believe it or not. It's starting to get some, oh yeah, it's got one black dot in the center. So you'll watch this nose change in the next six to eight weeks. Um, but he'll end up with a dark colored nose. He says, I'm seeping. And he's also a phantom. I can see these little brown dots coming under the eyebrows. He's got the brown up the legs. Oops, oops, oops. I know, I moved too quick. He's got the cross across his chest. He's got the merling up his legs. And he's got these white feet that look like somebody dipped him in a paint bucket. He's got them on the front that way too. He also has that little white dot on the back. He's got a beautiful face. I'm so anxious for him to open his eyes. And let me give you his microchip number. Okay, we are 30408 is the microchip number. Pretty, pretty baby. Nice boy. He says, I don't know. You're just, they're really good at this age. We've been handling them a lot. One pound, 5.6 ounces. So they may get that little fight, flight of fear stage when they hit oh, about three and a half weeks old. Sometimes everything in the world scares them because it's a really big world out there. And uh, so we, we hope we don't have screamers for about one week of videos, but once in a while. So this is a female Merle. She is a blue Merle. You can really see that blue silver underneath here turning. This will get really light silver. Spots will stay black. And I believe she's also a phantom. Yep, you got all the phantom markings. You got the eyebrows, coloring down the face. Just really pretty baby. I know, she says, don't hold me like that. I don't know if I've ever told you, but Diva is uh, grandma to these guys. And Diva has a litter right now. One pound, 3.2 ounces. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, lay down. There you go. Let me scoot you back up so you don't come off the table. All right, so we're down to the two dark ones. So this one is a male. This is a phantom. And microchip is, did I give you, yeah, I give you hers. 30401 is this one's microchip number. I gotta roll off in front of my scale. Scoot up here, there you go. Nice and shiny, nice big belly. They're all nice weight. They've got, she's got, he's got the brown markings on the legs. The eyebrows are just starting to show underneath there. It won't be too long. And has the cross on the chest with the lighter color across the chest. So all the normal phantom markings on this one. And this one's one pound, 4.8. And one last one, where are we at? Eight. Oh, okay, we got plenty of time. Uh, this one is microchip number 30402. This one says, I just want to go to sleep. Can I just lay here and just go to sleep? I love it when they're this age. So long as they're comfortable and they're not being tossed around, they're really calm and quiet. Phantom markings up the legs, got the fancy toes on the back. Are you crying? I hear you. Scoot up. There you go. Got all the brown gingerbread on the face and the ears. Just a typical cute little phantom. And this one is the female. All right, let's see what you weigh. One pound, 3.4. So they're really pretty close. There's a couple in there that are chunkers. Are you upset? Are you, you're out of order? Are you out of order? Vanessa did toenails this week, so toenails are really nice. We're fanatical, I'm fanatical about toenails. Toenails give us scratched eyeballs. So when puppies crawl across each other in a group and their fingers, yeah, their fingers, their toenails swipe across somebody's eye, they'll get a scratched cornea. And if you don't catch it right in the beginning, it can become a problem. They can also develop an, an ulcer on their eye. If we catch it soon enough, they don't. But the whole trick to that is keeping those toenails um, trimmed and so they're not so sharp and usually that's a weekly thing around here so it won't be long and it'll be a half a day of doing nothing but trimming toenails as many little guys as we're going to end up with but um everybody's doing great they're not really doing anything new yet 
Uh, we're just, we're all kind of hanging out, waiting on these eyes to open. I know, I know. Are you unhappy where you are? Let me pick you up and hold you for a minute, and I'll calm you back down. So, if you have any questions about these guys, please, please feel free to give me a call. I don't mind whatsoever, and um, I'll be glad to answer anything I can for you. Other than that, we're good. Um, and I will get you a new set of pictures as soon as these little guys open their peepers and uh, give us some expressions on their face. So have a great week. What's left of it? Uh, tomorrow's hump day, so we're almost, almost a hump day. So have a good one. We'll talk to you later.